4% interest rate? Is there actually a way to do that? Let me tell you how, because we just actually kind of learned about this and we're really excited to share the information. Billy and I went through a whole training learning how to get assumable loans to our buyers. VA, USDA, and FHA loans are 100% uh, assumable and it's not as hard to make happen as you think. So we kind of wanted to go over it with you because I, I was very excited about it. Our buyers and, and sellers we've talked to are excited because of the possibilities it opens up. It's not going to work for everything or everyone, but there's ways to make it work. At least it puts another, another tool in our tool belt to get you a lower interest rate and get you in the house you want. And for sellers, we've learned that for sellers, if they include the loan with the house, they can actually get more for the house because they can sell at a premium because they are offering a lower interest rate to the buyer. So it's a win-win on both sides. We're super excited about it. We hope you will be too. Right? Imagine, I mean, imagine really getting, too. Can you imagine getting a 2.5% two, two, two interest rate? Yeah, there are some really low interest rates and we just learned about this. I've got all my notes here. And this is a novation assumption. That means the buyer takes all the responsibility, all the liability. This is the seller steps away. It's not where there's sometimes where it's assumed where the seller still stays on and has a lot of liability. That is not this. This is taken over by the buyer and the seller is released from all liability. And for the buyer, this is a chance to assume a loan that could be two and a half, three, four percent, which is actually unheard of these days, right, Billy? It's going to be heard of unheard of for the next century, the next two yeah. generations. We've been hoping, hoping, and cross, fingers crossed that there was going to be at least a couple, even small rate drops by the end of the year. And Billy had just went to a conference yesterday and they were talking about it's unlikely there might be no um, rate decreases this year, maybe even rate increases. So if you're sitting around waiting for the rates to go down before you buy, that's just not going to happen. But there are ways with assumable loans and with the, a lot of the lenders have programs, there's ways to get a, a rate down to get you into a comfortable payment. Right, Billy? Yes. And, and let's see. Um, the property, uh, the one thing, uh, one of the caveats is the property must be owner occupied. But if you want to look and kind of maybe do an owner occupy multifamily, a duplex, triplex, you can live in one unit and then you can rent out the other units. But you do need to live on the property as well. To and that's be able one to thing I learned in a conference about additional dwellings and additional multifamily is everything is so expensive. Right that now. it's a great way to get into the market. We've seen we've had a couple first time buyers do that where they buy multifamily or buy a home that they can turn into a separate apartment and then rent out the rest and that basically pays the mortgage or you buy a duplex, multiplex of some sort and live in one, rent the rest, it pays your mortgage and you've got yourself and you start earning equity and then you can piggyback that onto another property as well. And what's nice with no appraisal, so you offer the seller a market value price and it's you don't have to worry about it getting appraised. And you need to qualify for the loan just like normal, whether it be FHA, VA, or USD. But you have to qualify for the loan, but there is no down payment. You take over the loan right where the seller's at. So if they're at a, they have 20 years left on the loan, that's where you're going to step in. The, the best thing we like to see is we don't want to see the seller have too much equity because that's what you as a buyer would be paying coming in instead of a down payment you need to pay that seller for the equity they have in the house. So we, we like to find ones that have a lower amount because I, it opens it up. And I guess it would depend on as a buyer coming in what kind of uh, money you have to put in. So we can look for, I got a little call coming in. Somebody's and calling so about the simple loans. So we can get you into where you can afford it. But what's also a bonus with this is, you know, when you're doing a loan, gifted money and how much money you can take in, it's all tracked and that you can only take so much gift money and so much you know, concessions from the seller and all that kind of stuff. With this, you can get the money from anywhere. You can get it, you can borrow it, you can um, take out a second loan. You can actually take a second loan on the house to um, get the money. And there's a lot of ways to get the money to pay for this equity that the seller has. And people are finding it because they, when you lock into a, say a 3% interest rate versus seven, seven and a half, you're saving it's thousands upon savings. thousands of dollars every year. Yeah, be, yeah, looking at 2% because we see it, unfortunately, every day when the rates go up, buyers get knocked down on how much they can afford. Their, your buying power goes down and down. So with this, when you get a low, a low interest rate, you can afford more house. And it's worth paying the equity off and maybe a little extra for the home to get this kind of a deal. And like that's the thing we just said, that money doesn't have to be seasoned. It, does, it can come into your bank however you want. You just need to be able to pay the seller for their equity. And you can also borrow from 401ks, family, friends, loans, 
And what's really exciting is it, we've heard from other people in the past that getting loans assumed is a nightmare. It's so hard, difficult to do. And if you as a buyer or a seller just were to call up and say, I want to get this loan assumed, you're going to get the runaround. It doesn't get done easily. But VA loans actually have to be finished within 45 days. And I think they're talking about the FHA, they're mm -hmm. doing them faster as well. But we've partnered, with, started working with a company that we were introduced to, and they take, they do all of that. We do the real estate part, you would do the buying, the selling part, and they take care of the assuming of the assumption of the loan and taking care of getting a hold of whoever owns the loan and getting it taken care of. Because there, is, there are a lot of hoops to jump through, but they know how to get it done and how to get it streamlined. Because when we try to do it on our own, if an agent calls or a seller, it just doesn't get done quickly. Right. It could take months and months if it ever gets done, but this company knows how to get it done, and so we're really excited to work with them. And so, oh, go ahead, Billy. I was gonna say, we're, look, we're not looking for people that have owned their house. There's a very fine, finite window for people at the end of 2019 to about just the beginning of 2023, because those are where all the low interest rates right. were there. Yeah, we want, to, we want to find those low interest rates. And, and we gotta do all down. the algorithms and formulas to make sure they have enough equity, but not way too much, like $200,000 right. from the back. Because yeah, we know a lot of buyers can't come in with $200,000 to buy, you know, maybe a $500,000 house or $400,000 house or, but you, but you just, you don't know, but that's where we sit down with the buyers in advance, find out what the cash situation is and how much money you could put towards it. And does it make sense to go out for and search for these assumable loans on the homes? Because we have our perfect home finder program anyway where we take in the information, what you like about it, what you'd like in a home, neighborhood, all that kind of stuff. And then we find homes that meet that parameter and we reach out and market to those homeowners directly. And then we put it together where buyers are buying homes that are never actually listed on the market. So we can do the same thing for the assumable loans, find the homes that you really like, and then find the ones that have these loans, FHA, VA, or USDA that are assumable. And then it's really a win-win. If you can get an assumable loan in a home that fits all your wants and needs, that's the biggest win-win. Wouldn't you agree, Billy? Yeah, it's great for buyers, but like you said, it's great for sellers right now that, that need to sell. You if, know, those are the ones we're finding because like you said, the beginning- You get a premium on your house. They're getting premiums because they, the people, we run the numbers, you can see how much, literally, you could save over $20, $25,000 a year just in mortgage payments. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. It's worth looking into, and, and not all houses. Obviously, there's a lot of conventional loans out there, and there are some conventional, assumable conventional loans, but they're few and far between. So we are looking at the homes that are financed with the FHA, VA, and USDA. And like Billy said, that they were purchased or financed, at least with the loan, between 2019 and 2022. Yeah. That's when they're, maybe, yeah, 2022. That's when the loan, their, their interest rate's gonna be the lowest and they're not gonna to have too much equity in it to make it unreasonable for a buyer to come in. So it, I, don't, I think it's definitely worth the conversation. We got very excited hearing about this. We've already got some buyers that are out there. We're looking at assumable loans for them, finding the right home. Because we don't want you just to buy a house just because it has an assumable loan, but if we can find you the right house that you're looking for, plus getting that assumable loan, and, yeah, and at a two, three, 4% loan, you're gonna be able to buy a lot more house too for the same money. Anything else you can think of about that, Billy? I'm just saying, I'm just, you know, for the buyers, it's a no brainer, but for the sellers too, they can sell their home at full market value, yep. you know, sell the low mortgage rate and walk away with zero risk, liability. Yep. And, you know, you can look forward to taking some of that equity and go do what you want to do with it. And you don't have the burden of, you know, right, yeah, you, if they have to sell, relocate. And we know it's not a lot of sellers. We've talked to a lot of people that they are they may want to move or open to moving, but they don't want to lose that low interest rate. So these are the people that need to sell, is who we're finding. What are the four Ds? You've got the four Ds, you've got people that are getting divorced, if you've had a death where you need to sell the home, if it, your diapers, your home is just, you've had babies, and what's the last one? Diamonds. Diamonds, getting married. And also relocation. Yep. Relocation is the other one. Relocation. Those kind of things, the people that need to move. They need to sell their home and move, and those are the ones, but there are plenty of them out there that have these assumable loans. So it's worth, we're checking into because it's a great way to get a great interest rate and possibly get the house of your dreams. Or, yeah. And also if it's not the house of your dream, it might not be your forever dream home, but it could be your first home that's your starter and it could, you know, piggyback into the next home because especially if you're getting in a low interest rate, you're gonna build up equity quicker and pay less for the house. It's just gonna be great. 
So what do you always say about gathering information? Yeah, you don't you don't know what you don't know. So don't just assume that it's not going to work for you. It's worth the conversation. And when Billy and I, we sit down and we can chat with you on the phone, on Zoom, in person, we can go take you to a cup of coffee or whatever, but there's never any obligation. And we definitely are, we're not the, the pressure people. We're no pressure, no obligation. We just like to give back by educating and informing and that way you can make a, an educated decision. Because if you don't know exactly how it, your situation would work with this, then you don't know if it's right for you. And some people just think, oh, well that can't work for us and they just don't ever look into it. We've had plenty of buyers that didn't think they could buy a house until we had them talk to a lender and they realized, oh, you know what, maybe my credit's not too low or this, I can do this or that. And they were able to get into a home and so you, and they were ones that didn't think it could happen. So don't give up and it's just worth having, you know, 15 minute conversation. right? And we just had one, we had, we had a probate, uh, a family yeah. dealing with probate and we just had a Zoom half yep. an hour ago and met the people from Manhattan Beach and you know, the process has started, just, yep. just gathering information. And that's what you need to do, just gather information, find out how it could work. And like we said, we have our Perfect Home Finder program, which is also no obligation, no pressure. And you're never obligated to ever buy a house, but we can go out and find homes that are off market that the sellers maybe do need to sell and they haven't been ready to list it on the market yet or they just, it hasn't worked out. And we can find the right homes, especially these ones that are assumable loans. You can't sleep on those. Yeah, this is exciting, really, really exciting. And with the Head Start Perfect Home Finder Concierge Service, it's just a lot of services that we offer to help people take away that stress and the fear. And selling with the assumable, we can turn around and for the seller, do the Perfect Home Finder and look at finding them another right. loan, a VA or FHA or USDA loan to assume when they sell this house. So there's a lot of ways it can work. And when we're talking low, you know, two and a half, three and a half, four percent interest rates, yeah, it, at least it's worth a conversation to see if it could happen for you. So I think that is it for today for Amy's Office Hours and I hope everybody has a great weekend. And turn on. turn on notifications because we do go live. I go live usually once a week and Billy and I do it together. So we're on three or four times a week. And give us a like, it helps push the video out and if it is, you found this helpful, definitely give us a like and share it with somebody that could also benefit from the information. And then we can be found on all the socials. Billy has all the names that we've on YouTube. Living in Reno Sports fan, definitely turn on notifications. Yeah, turn on notifications. YouTube, YouTube um, our YouTube channel, Living, Living in, in Reno, Reno Sports, Sports Nevada. Nevada. De watch that, subscribe and turn on notifications Instagram, for that. Instagram, Homes by the Boiler Team and TikTok, the Boiler Team and Big Realtors. So check out all of those. And you can always reach out to us. We're really easy to get a hold of. You can message us right here on Facebook or Billy, he always has his phone, and if he's not in a meeting or asleep, he will get right back to you. He's usually, I mean, he takes calls all hours of the night, too. So 775-997-6758. We know that sometimes people have work different schedules, so please reach out to us anytime. Oh, and Billy wants me to mention, is it this weekend? Yep. We've been weekend. talking about the, um, the free dump days, where you can take your junk and dump it for free at different locations. This is the last one for this summer on June 8th at Reno High from 9 to 12. You can go in and you can bring, there's no hazardous materials, but you can bring beds and you know couches and things like that, or just different things, just no electronics and no hazardous waste, correct Billy? Yep. And, but if you wanna go, it is free for Washoe County residents, you just need to bring your ID, I, I believe, but get there early because I, it, once they have, I don't know how many dumpsters they set up, but they set up a bunch, once they're full, they're done. So you can't, I would try to get there early, but it costs a lot of money to take those bigger items to the dump. So I would definitely, Take advantage of that if you have some stuff you need to get rid of. You cannot bring branches and things like that either from yard waste, but there are so many things everybody has in their house. And, and also when you live in Washoe County, you have four free dump days a year just at the, the dump on 4th Street, is it? Yeah. On 4th Street, the, the one spot there. So um, it's definitely worth it if you have a lot of things. I know we usually go every quarter probably, I'll and it saves, <laughs> it saves a lot of money doing this. So Reno High, 9 to 12 tomorrow. Take your junk and dump it. So that is it. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.